grace of God. We press on because of the grace of God. The Christian life is a life of moving forward, just pressing on, slowly but surely. Amen? Dili ni palumbaanay ang Christian life, kung dili faithfulness ang Christian life. And it can only be done by the grace of God. Stand with me, please, as we open our Bibles to Luke chapter 14. Luke chapter 14. We will be reading verses 25 to 35 tonight. And uh, tonight we're going to talk about being a committed disciple of Jesus Christ. Last week we talked about the firsts that our Lord Jesus Christ was trying to remind us of. And uh, one of those things is being putting Him first in our life, putting the spiritual first, putting our, uh, uh, our brother first. Sometimes, you know, naatay mga desires to serve the Lord, pero naatay diperinsya sa ato mga kaigsuunan. And uh, we need to really uh, kanang ato ning uh, tarungon yun. Tungod kay dilit na ka ministry, dilit na ka himo, kung naantay mga bitterness sa atong kinabuhi. And it is very important. So we talked about that last week and tonight we're going to talk about being a committed disciple of Jesus Christ. Responsively, for tonight's reading, verses 25 to 35, I'll read verse 25 and then you follow on until verse 35. The Bible says, And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, Now, if you understand what you're reading at first glance, you will be offended by this verse. Moingong ka, if you will not, if I will not hate my father, my mother, my wife, my children, lainas ginoo ipahate de ako. This actually is a comparison. This is a challenge. This is not literally that you will hate them in that sense, but your love for the Lord Jesus Christ is so much so that it feels like, ang imong family will feel like you are hating them. But you are not. Because in actuality, you can never love your family. You can never love your wife. You can never be a father to your children or a mother to your children. You can never be a brother or a sister to your siblings or to, or to the brethren if you do not put God first. Yeah. That's what this verse is all about. Verse 27 and whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot be my disciple. Lest haply after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. Or what king going to make war against another king sitteth not down first and consulteth whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him that cometh against him with twenty thousand? So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. It is neither fit for the land nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious holy words that we have just read this evening. Thank you, Lord God, for this time that we can be able to study and be reminded, be rebuked, be uh, realigned in our thoughts and in our lives so that we may be able to achieve what you desire for us as your children, more so to be your disciple. Many just want to be saved. Many just want to get to heaven. But Lord, that is not your purpose, why you have just saved us. Although you want to save us because you, you want us to be a, a saved from the penalty of sin, but more so you want us to serve you and to be able to bring others uh, to you and Lord, to be a blessing to others. And that cannot truly happen if we do not follow you as your disciples. And tonight, I pray that you will help us, uh, that we be uh, challenged and even committed to do so. 
Lord, I pray if there's anything in our life that needs to be forsaken, that needs to be repented of, we thank you that we have the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses us from all sins. And the promise that, Lord, you will truly uh, and, and faithfully wash us uh, and our sins away. And, Lord, we thank you for your word and your promises tonight. Help me to be a blessing to your people. I pray the Holy Spirit of God continue to help me and guide me as I preach the word tonight. If there's anyone here that is not saved, not born again, I pray that tonight be the night of their salvation, whether they be here on the auditorium or maybe tuned in online or any part of the world. I pray your blessing also be upon them that they may be able to understand your words tonight. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. A disciple means a learner. I know in our church, we have a ministry, uh, the discipleship ministry. And uh, no, this is one of the ministries that is really hard to do. Nakita nako nga daghan sa atong mga uh, mga members karon murag uneasy sila. Maybe some of you do not like to be disciple, do not like to really make a commitment. You just want to, uh, you know, just be a, a, a church member and uh, just do what you want to do. Well, okay rana siya if you are a, a new believer. But as you progress as a believer, it is important that we be truly disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, entering into this uh, discipleship ministry or uh, entering into a, a being a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, a learner. There are many people today that they, they know a lot about Scripture, but they, do, they have not learned Scripture. They have memorized, they have read, but they have not learned Scripture. The Bible says, um, uh, always uh, having the knowledge, but never ab able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Ever learning, but never, ab never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Kutub lang diri, wala sa aksyon, wala sa buhat. And a person who has truly learned will display it in their actions and their, even their, in their decisions that they make each and every day of their life. And so a disciple here in this passage of Scripture means a learner, a learner of the Lord Jesus Christ, a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, so much so that they become like Christ, that they display the life of Christ. Now, we are saved, and our salvation is free, praise God. Amen? Walay bayad mga And that is something that many people today still struggle Lisod ning kanibit na mo ah, by faith ra? Of course, by faith ra. Mabit na ang gitawag na siya faith, kay lisod kayo na siya dawaton. Nga maura na imong himoon, kay gusto mang yun ta mo himo. Gusto mang yun ta mo trabaho. But when it comes to salvation, wa tayo mahimo. When it comes to the salvation of our souls, wa yun tayo madugang yun. It is all and solely all on the Lord Jesus Christ, by the Lord Jesus Christ. And so it is important that we learn that. And salamat nga ang kaluwasan libre. But when we talk about discipleship, it will cost. Naagyud ni siya cost. Mga kagsunan, you cannot live the Christian life. Dawat lang kaglimbyo. Nga wala agyud kay, mangita agyud kagway, nga di ka magkalisod-lisod. Dili man nato na planuhon. But as you observe in your life, you keep following the Lord, there will be times in our Christian life that you are going to face hardships financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically, socially. You're going to face hardships. There will be persecutions from the family. There will be persecutions from your friends. There will be a pressure from the office. There will be pressure from your, uh, 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 from your, uh, uh, kaning mga, mga situations, circumstances. Daghan. So discipleship costs. Sometimes you have to give up a lot of things. You have to give up your ambitions, your plans. And now more than ever, many people in the world today, including us Christians, we can be fearful of what is going on in the world today. I just uh, flipped some news and I saw in the news uh, nga ang, ang Iran o ang, I think, uh, 
ang Iran o ang Ethiopia, if I'm not mistaken, basta ang Iran nag-provide nag sa Russia o mga attack drones. So, you see already a collusion, which is already in the Bible, by the way. Hindi <laughs> naman surprise na to. I'm just, I'm just repeating what the Bible says and uh, making it a reality because it is not fiction. The Bible is not fiction. It is reality. So, nag-collude na karon ang Iran, which is in the Bible in the last days, mo onaning, mo align to attack uh, Israel. Of course, this will happen during the time of tribulation. We, as born-again believers, will not be here anymore. But the fact of the matter is, these, are, these things are happening, which, which is really strengthening the, um, the, the, our conviction that we are truly uh, in the days wherein we're going to see the com second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, the first part, of course, is the rapture. We're going to see the rapture. But makita na ko na, anya, daghan ang mga tao ang mga wagid ni Mahuman ni ang gubat ni sa Ukraine o sa Russia. But you know, life goes on, gasoline goes up, goes down. The other day, it went down, salamat. It went down about, I think, six or seven pesos. I hope it continues to go down. Ano ba? Nindot kayo. But at any rate, mo ni ang atong kalibutan. This is the world that we live in. It is an, an uncertain world. And the only certainty is God. He is our anchor in the book of Hebrews. He is the captain of our souls. Kaya kung dili si Kristo mo ay nag-lead na ito, niya wat na mag-follow sa kaniya as a disciple, malisang kita. Malisang ta. And so tonight, a few things about being a committed disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is something that will really challenge us tonight. And I, I hope every one of us, including myself, ma-challenge to be the kind of disciple that we need to be. Because that is what the Lord Jesus Christ is encouraging uh, every one of us tonight. So, first of all, verse 26 and verse 27, let me read again. If any man come to me and hate not his brother, his father, and his mother, his wife, his children, brethren, and sisters, yea, even his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot be my disciple. Number one, a disciple must worship at any cost. If there is one person nga atong simbahon, atong yung idolon, quote and quote, kay kaniba yang na ay mga kuan karon sa kalibutan karon, lahi lahi ang mga lihok. We have different types of uh, of uh, ways that we live our lives, depending on who we idol, idolize. Many today they idolize rich people, how that they can. From rags to riches, just in a few months. From rags to riches, na dato dayon. So, gi-idolize nila. So, mag-tiktok sa sila. Kay aron madato sila. They do everything that they can. Kay nadato tungo sa tiktok. Di na mo eskwila. Di na mo, di na mo, di na maghimog mga angay ng himuon. Kay to arang nag-atubang ra just to get so many followers so that they can be able to gain Money. It, it doesn't matter what they do. They can be half naked. They can be naked. They can be. Uh, uh, um, they can be. Kanang bastos. Unsa kaya sa English? Kanang wak na wala na siya kanang proper behavior, manners. Para lang makafollower. So they do all these things and they idolize people. Now, of course, there are. Well-meaning, kaning mga tarong nga mga tao nga gisunod nila, na asay mga tao nga tarong, good in business, good in their profession, good, and th those are good. But sometimes we forget that we are not of this world. We have a master. We have our Lord Jesus Christ above all these things. And let us be careful who we truly idolize, who we tr truly follow. Dili na to sundon lang ni mga tao sa kalibutan. The Bible does tell us that we learn from the unrighteous uh, mammon and learn how to have this, uh, uh, kaning, um, how to gain temporal riches to be used for eternal gain. The Bible says that. 
But it does not mean that di haraga kutub that you follow human human uh, philosophy and you forget the eternal and you forget the heavenly uh, doctrines and 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 the right things that God wants us to learn. So being a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, we must worship at any cost. There must be crucifixion in our lives. You must, the Bible says, we must bear our cross. There are a lot of crosses that we must bear. Kinahanlan na ay mga butang, sometimes we have to crucify. Number one, we have to crucify ourselves. Kaning self, maldito ka ini. Maldita ka ini. This is the one that really brings us down most of the time. And this is the one that really sidetracks us in not following the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus must come first before personal relationships. Jesus must come first before personal reputation. Jesus must come first before personal realization. I was talking about TikTok a while ago. Huna huna ang mga kagsunan. Kung kamo, di na mo motiwa sa inyong pag-eskwila. Kamo mga batanon. Dili na mo kung panalitan, God wants you to be a doctor, God wants you to be an engineer, God wants you to be a teacher, God wants you to be a nurse, God wants you to be an architect. Kung kamo di mo mo eskwila, di mo mo sunod, kaya ang inyong gibasihan, kwarta lang. Ha? Inig katiguan ninyo mga kaigsunan, wala mo doktor ninyo. Kaya ang inyong gibasihan, kwarta, magunsa man ang nakakay kwarta, niya wala na kay doktor ngay mabayaran. Kaya wala na may nagdoktor. Wa na may nag-engineer. Wa na. Na kay kwarta niya. Wa na mo tuko dog balay nimo. Nga no man. Kay wa na may nag-engineer. Nag-TikTok naman lang. Do you understand? Yes. Gusto ka mo eskwela, abi sag pila pa na ang, ang university. I can afford. Nya wa na may motudlo. Kay nag-TikTok ra man ka. You know, our young people today are in a crisis and that's why folks, last Saturday we had a meeting sa atong Kaya Ministry. Because we are serious about this. Ang ato mga kabataan needs help. Our children, our youth, our professionals, they need help. Church, we need to help them. We need to encourage them. We need to pray for them. Because we are in a time, this we call the last days. And the Bible describes the last days when men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, proud, boasters, uh, disobedient to parents, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and, and thankful and holy and all these things in the book of Timothy. And it describes the last days where we are living in right now. This is not a joke. Life is not just all about money. engineer. Kisa may mo ihap sa imong kwarta kung wala na accountant. Ng tabangan kag mo. Di ba? Kay wa man ka mo TikTok di nakakibaw 1 2 3 4 5. Mo na sila accountant, accounting. Kabalo na mo ihap, accounting gyud na. A 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, accounting na. Kabalo na sila mo ihap. Mo na ilang giskwila na. Mo na para na sa ikaw nga naa kay kwarta di ka mag-ihap sa kwarta, imo na lang bayaran ang accountant. Mm, kaya sila mo ihap sa imong kwarta. Anya wa na may mo ihap, niya di makakibaw mo ihap, kaya wa ko It's because you have idolized the wrong things. Ara-arang na lang ning medyo na idaran na. But our our world today is in a crisis. Therefore, we as born again believers must be true disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ so that we can lead others to Christ. Jesus must come before personal relationships. Jesus must come before personal reputation. Jesus must come before personal realization. And I like what A.W. Tozer uh, said about the cross. He said, A man who is crucified is facing only one way. He also said, A man who is crucified is not going back. Theologian is yeah. A man who is crucified has no further plans of his own. That's why Jesus said, If you do not bear your cross and come after me, you cannot be my disciple. There is a cross to bear, folks. There is a cross to bear. You cannot follow our Lord. We cannot follow our Lord Jesus Christ without the cross. The cross is being mocked by many religions today. And they say, Oh, some na yung ginoy. 
gipatay na yung ginoo, di, di man na mamatay ang ginoo, wa sila kasabot ba? Nga nung si Kristo nagpakamatay, wa sila kasabot anak. So that's why Jesus is, is being rejected by many today as far as salvation is concerned. But thank God, we know the Word of God and the Holy Spirit of God teaches us and tells us that Jesus had to die and to make this sacrifice so that you and I can be paid sa atong mga sala. Because His blood, His body, His life was the payment for our sin. So follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Carry our cross. A disciple must worship at any cost. Secondly, we find in verse number 38, 28, that a disciple must work at any cost. Which of you intending to build a tower, the Bible says, it is not down first and counteth the cost. In discipleship, in following our Lord Jesus Christ, we must work or serve. Na agunisya sacrifice. Salamat nga naatay mga buluhaton karon and by the way I again promote this please pray for Masbate because Masbate needs a pastor na anay building na anay parsonage na anay lute why pastor there is an opening a, a opening over there in Argao we need a god called pastor we need a god called pastor kinahanglan ta ana Nya karon uh, dito sa Cambodia we have several of our works that need teachers teachers because it is one of the ways that we can be able to minister to the villagers teaching them they cannot they don't know how to read blessed is he that readeth nya di man mabless kini makabasa and heareth and most of all doeth or keep it. So, a disciple must work. Daghag trabaho, mga kaigsunan. Diri lang sa atong simbahan. Daghag trabaho. Daghag trabaho. Ang problema, dili trabaho. Ang problema, kay mamili magtrabaho. <laughs> okay na, that's always the case. Pwede mo apply? Oh, ano sa may apply? Pwede apply manager? Oh, manager da yun? <laughs> so good sa tasa silong. <laughs> Gusto ka manager da yun? <laughs> so gusto ta sa silong? Jesus said, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Because most of them do not want to be laborers, they want to be managers. So a disciple must work at any cost. What is that? Construction. Building. We must work at our own character. Mga nang natay discipleship. It, it's work. Memorize ka, lingkod ka, mo spend time ka. Trabaho na, eh, di mo taganahan na. Gusto naman tag-ato ra. Kinahalan, good, mo spend time. And that's work. Mo go out of your way, you ka, mahal mang pliti, pastor. You know, we sometimes do not really understand the value of the Christian life and discipleship. The Christian life is building like building a tower which Jesus Christ described here. It starts off with a conception, a spiritual conception, and then a sacrificial construction. You have to give up a lot of things. You have to do a lot of things so that it can be steadfastly completed. Arun maligun. You ask our Ministry infrastructure team. Pangutan o ni mo sila diri. Dili lalim na. Sa paperwork pa lang daan, mga kaigsunan, madugo na kayo. Wala na problema. Okay na ni. Okay na na. Kanalay ko. Inig. Ay, salamat. Ugma. Maga na ni. Inig. Submit ni mo yung kaugma. Ay, kuan pa di ay. Kanang naakay. Kuan nun. Kuha din siya papil. Nga, tulo ka pages. Pilapi ni. O niya. Bayari ni. Niya. Kahuman na na. Mauna na. Abi na ko gahapon yung kang ako. Dili mo na ni, last naman ni. Sige, fill up ka, bayaran ni mo, submit ni mo. Pag submit ni mo, kanang huwata lang ka jod kay ato pa ni i-process, mga tulog ka adlaw. Mga kaigsunan, maabot lang usak ka tuig. Paperwork pa lang. Grabe ang birokrasi mga kaigsunan. But we just need to press on. Sometimes I even think, 
sa kana bitang have you ever tried to file sa kaning every april magfile mo og <laughs> ITR income tax return sometimes ang mga bookkeepers mo file sometimes ikaw mo file maglinya ka dito magtan-aw ka sa unsa ka daghan ug unsa ka baga sa paperwork ba gibitbit sa mga minilyon gud ang mga tawo nga muhatag naghunahuna ako ba kaning building kaning opisina pila na katuig asa kang mga papel ani no Nakapunta na ka, asa ka gibutang ang papel ana? Kay daghan kay papel ang i-fill up nimo pero ang pangutan na gigamit ba na? Pero mga kaigsunan, even then, you have to work it out. Mo may requirement. You have to work it out. Resibo, tulo ka kopya. Red, yellow, blue, napay puti. Asa may ako ani sir? Kanang puti imo. Pero kan 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 sai tegaan kag duha sa so, man kon <laughs> dugang-dugang lang ni sa kong papel gahapon ang limpyo ko sa akong kanang cabinet diha peting daghan nag papel kung naunsa naman tawo ning papel nga way gamit oy daghan nag papel mga kaigsunan but you see you have to work at it you have to work at it and in construction that is always the case there is a lot of work a lot of paperwork a lot of physical work a lot of emotional work, a lot of planning. And that is what discipleship is all about. Kaning ato, diri, diri laman ni soul winning ato, diri. Although we do master soul winning, but in discipleship, after they get saved, unsa o manday nato ni sila? Pasagdan lang, ato gining paloapon. Humanog paloap, disipulun. And here is where the madugo work comes sa atong church. Young people, disciple. Professionals, disciple. Men, disciple. Women, disciple. Dili lang, sige tao, kaon, sige lang, ta games. Dili man na, mo'y makaligon sa usa katao. Mo ni makaligon sa usa katao. The Word of God. And keeping us accountable to the Word of God. Keeping us accountable. Nga ang ato, yung masabda mo, na masudlan ta, we can be, in, we can be uh, uh, penetrated by cults today. And the cults are discipling. Naatas ka maturan, pero dili kahit tao sa hay, seryuso. Kung di ta magbantay, dili ta seryuso. Muna sila maayo kay mulantugi sa Bible. They, they are good at debating in the Bible, but there is no substance in their debate. It's all intellectual approach. They do not even compare scripture with scripture. It's all out of context. If you do not have Bible knowledge, you say, Whoa, ngigo, kabaloy, sakto, yun. Wah, peting layo, ana. Because they are just quoting scripture upon scripture, but they do not have the leading of the Holy Spirit to understand the whole context of the Word of God. Nasao mo na ni mong kontay sa ipusip. So, discipleship is work, construction. A disciple must worship, crucifixion. There must be a lot of things we must crucify in our life. A, lot, a disciple must work at any cost. There must be construction of our life. And, um, and, 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 and what God, as the song goes, uh, the trio goes tonight, that God, by His grace, is working a work. Sometimes God... Bunalan ta sa ginoo, pero ati man nun man sa da. Kay gusto sa Diyos nga mapurma ta, masunod ta sa iyang kabubuton. Verse 30 to 32, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish, or what king was going to make war against another king, sit it not down first and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000, or else... While the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth ambassadors and desireth conditions of peace. What is the Lord Jesus Christ saying here? He is using this example because a disciple must also not only work but war. Folks, as I said um, um, past few services ago, our Christian life is a life also of war. Not against each other, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against, the Bible says in Ephesians 6, spiritual wickedness in high places that are influencing people today, people that are right now fighting against 
Even the Supreme Court ruling in the United States, ni rule na ang Supreme Court against the illegal um, kaning act of abortion. It's illegal. Pero karon they are clam- clamoring for their rights. What is that? That's spiritual wickedness. Their rights to make their own choice. What about the choice of the baby? On sa man siya, butang na. Auto na. Nga imo lang drive ban ibalik ibalik ya or ipasagdan. Tao gud na. Tao gud na. Okay lang na og iro, okay lang bisag ang iro. Mas ang iro na pay rights. Ang iro na ay rights, ang balyena na ay rights, ang kahoy na ay rights. Pero ang bata, why rights? This is the world that we are living in right now. And why, Pastor, why do you uh, make America as an example? Because nga man, kay kita, we are little brown Americans. Sunod-sunod din sa Amerika. Kung sa ikaw sa Amerika, sunod-sunod sa dadiri. Tinood na. Sunod-sunod da. Murag, murabag everything that they say in sakto. Usara insakto, the word of God is only more than insakto. And so we war against this. We war against witchcraft. We war against atheism. We war against immorality. Folks, dili ni tiaw tiaw, folks. Immorality is real and it is not only affecting Christians, it is affecting Christian leaders. Pastors, missionaries, ministry leaders, uh, deacons, uh, unsa panadia, Sunday school teachers. Uh, it's affecting. Dilinit yao tiao. Morning. Serious ta sa discipleship nga naman. We want to be accountable. If we are not accountable, then masudlan ta. Kanabit ta magsikag palayo. Kami nga mga pastors, we really want nga mag fellowship me every month. Fellowship yun. Of course, dili man ni mandate, mandated yun, ganagin, pinuksan na yun, pero as much as possible, we want to fellowship. It's a fellowship lang, ganang. You don't have to have a, murag maka, engage me ba? Because we need each other as pastors to encourage one another. Makabantay ko na yung mga pastor, nga di kayo mag-fellowship, lay, 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 taon-taon, madungga na tuwa na. Nawag tang na. Nahulog na sa Bridge nga gihimo ni Duterte. Build, build, build man. So nahulog. <laughs> Sakit na, oy. Sakit na. Kung dili pastor, Christian. Biyaan sa bana, biyaan sa asawa. Mga kaigsunan, we wrestle against principalities and powers. A disciple is at war with this world and the prince of this world. God has called us to be soldiers. There is no compromise when it comes to what we believe from the Bible. Barugan ginato ni mga kegsunan. Basta gani Bible, barang hindi kita makompromise na. We cannot be cautious, we can't be cautious because these days call for radical Really, radical discipleship. Kanang radical means out of this, kanang mangita at pamaagi ba? If kung dili mo kamit, diri, pangita mo pamaagi nga makamit mo sa, makastorya mo gani mo o kanang video call, nga anong dili good, dili good ka, meet diha good. Kung wala na, for you Bible college students, and I, this is not to put you down or anything, this is just to remind you, Discipleship is not just a requirement, it is a lifestyle. Visitation, soul winning, dili ni WPR lang. Ato gudning kinabuhi. A disciple must war at any cost. A disciple must work at any cost. A disciple must worship at any cost. Number four, last, a disciple must witness at any cost. And we're talking about the word commission. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I urge you, those of you that have made commitments, stay in your commitment. 
malipay ko nga makakita na ay mag-missionary para mag-start og work, mag-start og church, mag magpastor. Verse 34 and 35, salt is good, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Kinsa man ang salt kita. Kinahala ng atong salt effective da. And one of the most if ways that we can be effective as salt is what? Integrity. Naagyo tayo integrity. Testimony. Amen? Kung na kay utang, bayari ang utang. Integrity na. Dili, sayop ang mga utang. Sayop ang di mo bayad sa utang. Ayaw nag... Limot-limot niya. Ayaw. Ingon tos pastor nga, kung pangpautang ka, hunahunaan na lang nga, gihatag na lang to ni mo. Ingon mas pastor. Kung ang katong nagpautang na to, di ba? Pero kung di siya, ma- di siya maghunahunaan na, bayaran, gihapo na to eh. Na, kung maingon siya, Brad, ako na maginig kalimtan, Brad, pero, nibayad man ka, pero, unsa man, okay ni mo? Ana, nga, o, o, mo ingon siya, ana, o, well and good. Pero na asya diri niya, tuwa ka dito, niya, bayari na, oy. Laing kayo na mag-missionary ka, laing kayo na mag-pastor ka, laing kayo na mag-leader ka, o niya, niya, wa kay, imong asin ba? Wa gyo'y la. Dura gyo'y. <laughs> Walay la. Dori mi pasola, tido. Importante ni salt man eh. It is neither fit for the land nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. If you have problem with you within your family, strengthen your family. Na problema si pamilya lisod kay na magpastor ka nya kamo si mo asawa nagaway mo. Wa mo wa gyapon mo mag lisod gay na. Imo ba na wa lisod gay na. Salt is good. We are the salt of the earth. Salt preserves. Salt flavors. Salt heals. Salt burns. Salt penetrates. Salt is an antiseptic to our world today. Our world is sick and it needs salty saints. Kita ang gikinhalan ana. Without us saying anything, the fact that we are already children of God, born again believers, and baptized at that, wa na halang na kain na sa ubang tao. Ay na og pahalang, sa halang naman ta. Dili na ka magpahalang halang pa, halang na tadaan. Ang kanang dili sa ning halang kanang kanang asin ba? Aw hang parat 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 na taba, parat na ta parat. Parat na ta. Dilim day ta. Kung ano, kanayang sili. Salt ta salt. Parat na ta. Parat. Pero nindot ba yan ng parat? Di ba maligot tagdagat? Ako when I take, take a, uh, go to the beach and take a, take a dip in the water, I don't wash. I, I don't know about you. I like the salt to remain. Pauli ko. Mag, di ko di, di ko magwaswas. Kay, nindot akong paminaw. No? Pero kung murag Aslum na, dili na parat. Aslum na ba? Kana, maligo na ko. Ano kay aslum naman? <laughs> dili, dili, dili na parat. Aslum na ni da. Murag din na ni Mayo. <laughs> aslum na ni. Sausawa na taan eh. Mm. Then we need to uh, uh, make it right. But anyway, a disciple is a witness. A disciple is a worker. A disciple is a soldier. A disciple is a worshiper. So tonight, are we followers of our Lord Jesus Christ? Kinsa atong isunod? Kinsa atong isunod? Sunod ang tao? Sunod as Diyos? Sometimes ang tao mulid nato sa kasaypanan, pero ang gino mulid yun nato sa insakto. And I hope and pray that this challenge tonight will, will help us see many more that will come to our uh, discipleship ministry. And if you have not yet been discipled, be discipled. If you want to be a discipler, then, then be the kind of discipler that will lead people to the Lord. This needs sacrifice. This needs uh, work. This needs a lot of effort. 
because we are building to the next generation. Kung di pa mo balik ang atong ginong si Kristo, at least naapay mo sunod na to. Naapay mo sunod na to. Naapay mo barog dere, naapay mo lead og singing, naapay mag ministry lead, naapa naapay mo sunod na to. Kung di pa balik ang ginoo ba? Although we do know, apit ng balik, pero still, we need to really be serious about this. We thank the Lord for our pastors that are here. I know they too have a challenge before them to be able to help their members grow in the Lord. So let's be faithful in being disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray tonight that you will, O Lord God, search our hearts and help